This video shows one of the applications of linear algebra, that is how to find the number of mutual friends using matrices. First, let's look at an example of a simple social network among six people. There's a baby, his mom, his dad, his grandma. This is the mom's co-worker. This is his dad's friend. And in this network, the co-worker and the dad's friend are actually cousin. Now let's talk about adjacency matrix. Adjacency matrix is a square matrix that represents the relationships between any two people in a social network. So the number of rows and the number of columns of the adjacency matrix is the number of people in the social network. So if we look at the first row and the first column of this adjacency matrix, it's representing the relationship between the baby and the rest of the people in the network. If we look at this entry that connects the baby and the mom, the entries is one because the mom and the baby are directly related. If we look at the entry that connects between the baby and the dad's friend, is zero because the baby doesn't really know his dad's friend. By convention, the connection between a person to himself or herself is represented using zero. Well, what happened when we take an adjacency matrix and you multiply by itself. Take A, multiply by A. Let's look at the first row and the second column. If I want, if during the matrix multiplication, since we have six rows and six columns, we should have 36 dot products of any two, uh, of a pair of a row and a column. Well, let's look at the first row and the second column. The first row represents the relationship of the baby with the rest of the people, and the second column represents the relationship between the mom and the rest of the people. Well, the products of the first pair is 0 times 1, which is 0. The second pair is 1 times 0, which is still 0. But the third pair is 1 times 1. It is one of the special pairs because the products of this pair is one what does it mean that this pair here is showing the relationship between the baby and the grandma and also the relationship between the mom and the grandma okay since the baby and the mom both know grandma or both directly related to the grandma First, the grandma is one of the baby's and mom's mutual friends. Let's go to the next pair, it's zero times zero. The fifth pair actually is another special pair. When you it's telling the relationship between the baby and the dad, and the mom's and the dad, right? Apparently, the dad is one of the mutual friends of the baby and the mom and the products of the last pair is zero. So by doing this dot product, we are finding the number of mutual friends that the baby and the mom share. As a result, there's two of them, the dad and the grandma. Let's look at another dot product. So this time we're taking the fourth row and the sixth column. So the fourth row represents the relationships between the dad's friend and the rest of the people. And the sixth column represents the relationship between the mom's co-worker with the rest of the people. In fact, they are cousin, they directly related. 
but do they have any friends in common? After doing the blood products, we found out that no, they're sharing no friends in common. So by doing these two examples of the two dot products of the matrix multiplications A times A, we found the number of mutual friends between the mom and the baby, and also the number of mutual friends between the dad's friend and the mom's co-worker. So if A is the adjacency matrix that represents the relationships between people, then A square represents the number of mutual friends that any two people in the social networks have. As you can see, it's the mom, the baby, we found that they share two mutual friends, and the dad's friend and the mom's coworker, they have no friends in common, even though they are directly related to each other. Now, this is your turn to think about what does A to the 3 represent.